Hi everyone, and welcome to Teacher Ivan channel, where we cover English grammar, unit by unit. In today's video, we will talk about how and when to use some and any. Before I start explaining, there are some things you need to understand. Like, what are these words? Here we have milk, a cat, bread, a sandwich, a glass, and rice. These words are called nouns. There are two types of nouns, countable and uncountable. Now, if you don't know what that means, those words come from the verb to count, which basically means to name the numbers, like 1, 2, 3, and so on. Also, this un means not. Okay, so now that we know all of that, pause the video and try to categorize these nouns as countable or uncountable. Alright, let's see if you were right. The countable ones are a cat, a sandwich, a glass. The uncountable ones are milk, rice, and bread. Okay, so one question that you might have is why is milk uncountable if I can count the cartons? That's exactly it. You can count the cartons, but not the milk inside it. The same thing goes for rice. You can count the bowls, not the rice in them. Notice also that singular countable nouns have a or an in front of them. In this case, we only have a because none of our countable nouns start with vowels. If you're not sure what I mean by that, click on the link in the description of this video, where you will see the detailed explanation. So, with countable nouns, we can easily say something like I want one cat, two sandwiches, or three glasses. And if we want to say something like I want bread, rice, or milk, instead of numbers, we can say some. Some is used in positive sentences. As you can see here, we use it with uncountable nouns. However, we can also use it with countable nouns when we don't know the exact number of something. For example, if you see a jar of cookies, you can say, there are some cookies in the jar. Okay, now I need you to read these two sentences, pause the video, and try to transform them into their negative and question forms. Okay, now let's see if you were right. He doesn't want any milk. Does he want any milk? There aren't any cookies in the jar. Are there any cookies in the jar? As you can see from these examples, we can say that we use some in positive sentences and any in negative and question sentences. And we use some and any with both countable and uncountable nouns. And there you go! Congratulations! You survived another lesson! As always, 
don't forget to do your homework. The link is in the description of this video. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, but above all, learn. Bye guys!